Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about the Republican Party and, well, money, fundraising, and how things are shaping up. We're going to go over what is, I guess it's wider spread news, and then we're going to put it into context with something else because I feel like a lot of people are going to ignore the first bit because they don't know about the second bit. Okay, so we're going to talk about the Republican Party's fundraising nightmare, because they're in trouble. The RNC, so this is the National Republican Party, they basically had their worst fundraising year since uh, 1993. Uh, they're closing out with $8 million cash on hand and $1.8 in debt or something like that. Really, really, really not good moving into a presidential election year. That, that's in real bad shape to be in, and there's not really any signs of it getting better. Now, I would imagine that most people are sitting there thinking, well, that's because Trump is getting all of that money. Trump's bringing it all in to his fundraising activities. Yeah, I mean, you would think, right? <laughs> you, you would think, um, because it, it started off that way early in the year. This is that second bit that matters. Trump uh, brought in a lot of cash. He was having some big days when he would show up at court early on. Um, back in April, August, he was pulling in like four million dollars a day on the days he was entering not guilty pleas. Now when he shows up, they're lucky to get 300 k 10%. They've hit that point of diminishing returns. It's not going well. Trump isn't raising the money that uh, that would be needed either, especially since that money is going out for you know legal fees. Um, the Republican Party is not in good shape, and you combine this with all of the news we have about the various state-level parties and they're not doing well either. The Republican Party has a money issue. Um, and how they are going to resolve that in a campaign year with the candidates they have decided to uh, push out front, that's uh, anybody's guess. It's also worth remembering that the Republican Party had somebody who was just amazing at fundraising. You may not like him, you may not uh, think highly of him in any way, shape, or form, but nobody can question McCarthy's fundraising ability. Oh, that, that's right, the Republican Party ousted him. They, they may look back on that as a really bad decision for a whole bunch of reasons, um, and I feel like money's going to play into that. Starting off this year, the Republican Party is in trouble when it comes to cash. And there's no ready way to fix it. Um, mainly because a lot of the deep pockets, they are reluctant to contribute to the RNC because they feel like the RNC is just going to use it to back Trump and Trump candidates. And those with deep pockets know that he's bad for business. He's bad for the economy. So they, they don't want him to win. They're more likely to give the money to a, a fund that might help Nikki Haley or just hold it because they might be conservative. They might be Republicans at heart. But when you were talking about those deep pocket donors, the big business that Republicans have counted on for so many years, yeah, they don't care about red and blue. They care about green. And the Republican Party, well, they've been bad for the economy. So that green may override any conservative belief. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.